mean, I was scared that if I died, what would happen to them? Right. Like how would they navigate their own grief? Because I knew how bad we were at grief in our culture. Right. I was like, so they're going to screw my kids up if I die. Nobody's going to be able to handle this. So, you know, I, I, I think living with the reality that that something could happen to you or something could happen to your family members or your children, it's scary. But if we continue to put love in the foreground. And I'm not saying we can't dispel fear. I can't make anyone's fear better. You can't even make your own fear better. But what you can do is just acknowledge fear and say, yeah, you're valid. Fear is not a bad emotion. Look, fear is there to protect us. Fear is there to say, I'm going to protect you from this, this thing over here. That's a threat. This thing over here. That's a threat. It's, it's just a matter of having a conversation with fear and saying, look, I know you're trying to protect me, but really we have no control here. And so, you know, I'll, I acknowledge you. I know you're afraid how hard, it, how hard it must be for you to be afraid of this, you know, give it a hug and say, let's be brave together. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's when we push our emotions down and when we suppress our emotions that we get into trouble, even an emotion like shame and guilt, you know, like I have felt a lot of shame and guilt over my daughter's death. And um, I don't push shame or guilt away when I feel them. I I just, why? Um, Well, it's just because I'm her mom and I was supposed to protect her and I was supposed to, you know, protect her life. And it, it doesn't always make sense. Sometimes it does. I work with a brief father who ran over his daughter twice. He thought she was a bike and, um, and, you know, he has guilt and, you know, people actually have the audacity to say, Oh, don't feel guilty. Don't blame yourself. Well, I mean, he ran over his child. How does he not feel guilty? Would you, Right. And telling him not to feel guilty just causes him to have shame about his guilt. Right. So we talk about how it is to feel guilty. Um, Mine's not as direct as that. My guilt is not as direct as that, but I still feel it. And it's normal and it's okay that I feel it. I'm I have big muscles. I can carry that guilt and I can carry the shame and I can carry whatever other emotions I need to carry. They're mine. And I'm not going to that doesn't mean the stories they tell me are true. Right. So it's a matter of distinguishing the emotion from the narrative under the emotion. I accept all my emotions. I don't necessarily accept all all the stories because the stories are, you know, like, you know, you weren't a good mom and none of that's true. And I know that's not true cognitively. And in my heart, I know it's not true, but the emotion is very real. You've got to hear the full conversation I had with Dr. Joanne Cacciatore. We talk about loss. We talk about grief and ultimately why you have to face it. You can't run from it. Click on the link right over there to hear the full conversation.